growing up in a family um, of girls, we are a family of girls. Uh, mother and daddy had four girls, four, four daughters. Our dad always thought he needed a boy to run the farm, to run the business, to continue baling hay and garden and manage all the cattle, that it had to be a boy. And it had to be a boy to run the, the drug stores. Well, he tried and tried, so ended up with four girls. And uh, chicken burger is our signature burger with our homemade meta cheese. We make all our salads. Hello everyone, this is John Ward with the Appalachian Channel and I'm here in historic downtown Clinton, Tennessee and I'm here with Dudley and Molly Hoskins. Their dad, Dudley, started Hoskins Drug Store in 1930 down here on Market Street in the Flats and in 1947 he moved up here to this new location and uh, built this and it grew into 13 drug stores over a period of time and Hoskins Drug Store is uh, got so much neat stuff in there the historic uh, memorabilia from the years past of this been a drugstore we're gonna go inside and see a lot of this and uh, you've got the old uh, weight machine in there that you yes. the weight on and uh, I'm gonna have a hamburger with uh, fermented cheese on it and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of fun guys you want to go in and check out this historic uh, business here let's go right, let's go Welcome to Hoskins Drugstore. We're glad that you found us in Clinton, Tennessee. I'm Dudley and this is my sister Molly and we both own uh, our partners in Hoskins Drugstore and carrying on a legacy that our father started uh, 90 plus years ago. So 94 in April. <laughs> oh yes, we do have an anniversary coming up. We do. So we're on Main Street in Clinton. Um, he started the business um, on Market Street which is just around the corner from us in 1930. So let's walk through the store and we'll kind of show you. Um, oh, I'm, let's first stop at the front door and Molly's gonna tell you about these. We have these scales that have been here since the original and they're just the old timey scales. They still work, people stomach, still come in. They wanna get their um, weight, but then more importantly, they wanna get what their fortune is. Um, so it's a penny or a nickel and you can get your weight and your fortune. Um, growing up as kids here, what we enjoyed most was emptying the scales. So at night after everything was closed, we got to open the back oven and empty all the coins out. So Yes, we open the door and the pennies would just fly through. Okay, so the next thing that's been here since 1947 is our nut machine. So you can come and get hot nuts and we'll weigh them out for you on these very accurate scales. And you can buy a bag of nuts and they're fresh and they're warm and people love that. We're glad that we can offer that still today. So coming on through the store, we have lots of vintage toys um, that we like to carry and people say, oh, I remember buying these or playing with these when I was a child. So fixtures are all the same. We've not changed any of the wooden fixtures. Uh, these were placed in here um, in the mid 40s. This store was originally Dawn's Chevrolet. So this was a Chevrolet dealership. Daddy bought the building and remodeled it for about two years. Took him about two years to remodel. And Rexall helped him remodel this with all these beautiful wooden fixtures. That was a little bit of history we didn't talk about. <laughs> <laughs> these are um, all of our t-shirts. Just We've come out with different ones kind of each year in different styles. Um, so this is a multiple years of different t-shirts that we sell that people enjoy that come to visit us and like to take a little piece of us with them. Yes. So we carry a little bit of a mixture of things for people. Uh, we have gifts up front. Um, we have collectibles. And we're so glad that we can offer these. Um, but as you walk further into the store, you might find uh, medical equipment. And that's something that um, we found that goes right along with pharmacy. So it's a, it's a need and we've become really good at being able to help people care for those that are sick and home. And on the way you can see our little yeah. mini museum that we've kind of set up in the store that has, this is the original typewriter that actually when I became a pharmacist, this is what I first 
worked on um, at the store on Market Street when it was still a pharmacy. Um, and we use this typewriter. So it's been in service for 94 years. That makes you really uh, old. It does ah. feel. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily now we have computers. So if we make a mistake, we don't have to throw the label away. <laughs> oh, and here, look, here's Daddy's first, uh, or not, maybe not his first, but one of the ones that we have. This is his pharmacy jacket. And he wore this um, just as Molly wears her pharmacy jacket uh, in the pharmacy now. These are just pictures. You'll just want to glance through those. Those are some of his stores that he had in Oak Ridge. It tells the history of the store and the employees there. And speaking of employees, we have some wonderful staff that work with us. Um, and I know you have met uh, Mary and Tiffany and Tanya and Darlene. And they have been with us for many, many years. Um, they, uh, Tanya holds the record. She's been here 13 years. The others have been here 11 and 12, and we have lots of new faces too that we're um, so tickled to have some young young girls working with us. Hayden is one of them. And uh, Anita at the front register, we kind of walked right by Anita because she was busy working, and she holds us together. She is the glue of us, and we love her dearly. And so come on through, we'll show you more. We do lots of compression socks. Um, we do fittings for those. We're glad to offer that as a service. Um, we will personalize, fit you for those, and uh, get exactly what your doctor's ordered. If you just want to walk in, we can certainly help with that as well. And this is some more of the museum part that we say that we just kind of collected. These are collectibles over the years, and we just hung on to some things and display them so people can kind of see what pharmacy was about back then and how, how it's evolved to where it is now. Was oh, this originally in the store, the yes, post Yes, it was stamp? originally in the store and worked. We could put yes. money, coins in it. That was another thing we got to get the coins out of. You put coins in it to buy the stamps. So, yes. Three cents a piece. So, definitely, um, it's a few years ago, for sure. So, coming on through the store, um, you can kind of see just a variety of things that we carry. We are, we kind of pride ourselves in saying that we want to help you find the, the things that are hard to find. So if we don't have it and you don't see it and it's not exactly to you, need, fits your need, we'll order it for you. And we, we know how to find things that are hard to find. So now you're into the pharmacy area, and Molly is certainly the best pharmacist anywhere around. <laughs> this is our pharmacy, and if you look at it, you see where the doorway kind of is back there. The original pharmacy did not open up back into that area. It was just this small area here. Um, and on this shelves out here, you see a lot of the old bottles and things that are still back from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s um, that we've hung on to and maintained um, to, just as a display, as a front for the pharmacy. And all the new that we use is in the back. <laughs> When I was here last time, I think I saw some old bottles maybe in the back right there. Can we take a look at those? Uh, Absolutely. Can you explain yes. a little you bit about how Absolutely. medicine's changed yes. over the years, yes. maybe? These are just some of the old bottles. This one actually is arsenic or strychnine which is interesting um but anyway we have that and just some old names and labels and if you come on back here sorry for all the mess um you will even see even older bottles because a lot of things were in powders and you wrap the powders or in, and compounded it so most of these are powders back here and they're most of these are actually in the original place where a lot of them were Everybody wants to know where the bathroom is, so we direct them this way, and you're heading all the way to the back of the store. So the store's a pretty good size footprint, and but on your way, you're going to find the phone booths. These are, are pretty famous. This is what a lot of people come to see, and these are the original phone booths that were here that had working pay phones in them for years and years. Um, if you look at the doorway, you see all the initials and carvings that people put in. Um, in here 
And we still have people that come and want to get their picture made in the in the phone booths. Yes. Wow. And this stack that you see here, those are old prescriptions. From the 30s. From the 30s. And you would put them on a big sphere, and that's the way you stored them. So there were multiple and multiple stacks just like that up overhead. <laughs> so that's it. And this is the hallway that takes us back. You can see all the wooden doors and not changed, narrow hall, but this takes us back to our bathrooms um, all the way to the back and a back entrance. So um, it's, it's small, but it's functional and it's very clean. So we're proud of that. Not changed a lot, does it? It hasn't changed no. any. No, it hasn't <laughs> changed any. So that's it. Yeah. <laughs> This back hallway actually used to be open. I mean, uh, customers would come through the back hallway, um, come up the steps and come through the door. But for safety reasons, as years passed, we have we closed, closed it. We closed that we door. Closed Just, it. it's emergency exit only. Was, it, was this sign here original to the store? Yes, it was. That was the striking that came across the top banners of both these store windows. Oh, okay. And Rexall paid for all of that. And we had a terrible storm come through and knock the glass out of the, the window. So we saved that piece of it and framed it. Well, here, let me get a little interview with y'all. Oh, okay, okay. So where are you from? Uh, we are from Jacksboro. From Jacksboro, yeah. okay. Yeah. Jacksboro, she lives with me because I had breast cancer and she said she better move in with me. So she's been with me for the last two years. Yeah, well, but my breast cancer was good. Well, that's great. You know, and Jesus is good. Well, yes, absolutely. Yes. So now, tell us your names again. My my name is Darla. Darla, yeah. and your my name is Barbara. Darla and Barbara. Well, you can. I'm her oldest. Yeah. I, I'm the firstborn, and then there's two other ones below us. Well, so, below me. So, yeah. well. so yeah. you watch some of my videos? Oh, oh yeah, all the yeah. time. I try to watch yeah, all the They're wonderful. Well, we thank love, you. We love your videos. Well, you know, thank you. The one you did out there, uh, out at La Folle, that great big old house that was made in the 1800s. Yeah. I forget the oh. name of the house. That was wonderful. The one that was up the valley. Yeah. 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 I forget who owned it, uh, but it was an old house and it had like the water that goes through the back of the. Oh porch yeah. Back there, yeah. the little yeah. kitchen area. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I try that to watch was... them all. I don't get to watch them all the time, you know, every day, but. I try to catch up. I'll that watch was, two or three or four of them when I can. Well, that, good. That was a good interview on that one. Yeah. yeah. Was very interesting. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yes. Appreciate it, though. Yeah, you do a good job. Yeah. Well, take us take us around to places we've never been and would love yeah. to go to. Yeah. yeah. Have you been here to Hoskins before? Oh, honey, Several been, times. Several times. I've been coming down here for the last 24 years. Oh, yeah? Yes, Every yeah. time we were in Clinton, we stopped here for breakfast or lunch or whatever. What do you oh, like about it so good here? Oh, honey, everything. They have the best food. Them ladies know what they're doing. Yeah? They have got their act together, honey. Yeah. They are really good. Well, I'm going to get me something to eat. What do you recommend I get? Uh, well, it's lunchtime. Um, the specials are always good. Specials so it good? it doesn't matter which they've got. Uh, but this morning I was here a little earlier and I got the uh, breakfast omelet. Oh, it was good. Okay, yeah. I fish today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the coleslaw is. Oh, fabulous. I got good coleslaw. It's almost as good as mom's. I'm not going to say, <laughs> but it's it's right up there with mom's. Well, so, good. So. I'm going to try it out then. I, yeah. I'll try the coleslaw too. Have you not been here before either? I have. I've been here before many times. times. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. It's not far from home, you know. Not we, very far. Yeah. We live in. Same town almost. I think so, you do, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I did live in Jacksboro. I live up the road in La Follette now. So. Yeah, I think you moved up that way a little bit further yeah. out. So, but yeah, well, we, we've been here 24 years. Well, I love it. Well, we good. Retired, and we moved down here because my niece and nephew and uh, my uh, sister was down here, and they said come down and find you a house, and that's what we did. Well, good. 24 years. Well, yeah. How about that? Yeah. Well, so, good talking to you yeah. all. Okay. I'm gonna order me some food. I'll be around. Okay. okay. All righty. Well, good luck. All right. So, <laughs> you got an apron on. Uh, all of you's got aprons on that match and matching shirts and. We do. Wow. How many girls are working today, Mary? Six. Six. Yeah. So One today. My faves. <laughs> yeah. So, what? Tell us about your special today. We're having flounder, which is very popular today, every Friday. Mac and cheese, okra, and coleslaw. Well, how about that? 
Well, I'm gonna order something to eat while I'm here uh, this morning, and I think I'm gonna try one of the Hoskins burgers and some slaw and a Coke or Dr. Pepper. Oh, you're in for it. It's a goodie. All right. We'll get it ready for you, Precious. What are you drinking? Uh, Coke or Dr. Pepper, Mr. Pibb. Just surprise like. you. Yeah. I like doing that. <laughs> okay. My name is Tiffany. Tiffany? I do, well, and I would do a bunch of the cooking here. Okay. Well, it looks like you've got quite a bit of equipment back here. I, I can't take it. I got to take it all your editing yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I do pretty much everything. Wow. Film, edit. Okay. Yeah, that's good. You probably want to go ahead and bring two bags of onion rings. We need some fries. Thank you. Enjoy. Uh, four, three, Good. How you all doing? It seems like I know you all. We saw you at the flea market. Okay. You all were making shirts. We got two shirts. Oh, got okay. Shirts yeah. 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 So, and we watch it, but I sure have missed Ralph. Yeah. Robinson. Yeah. I sure have missed him. Well, doing the videos with him. Uh, right, yeah. And we're going to try to get up to R&M Market or R&M Brook Store, yeah. 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 We want to do that. Well, good, yeah. And that, where is that? R rugby. Oh, yeah, rugby. rugby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like you're having their special today. Fish, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had any breakfast. I'm starved. <laughs> I haven't either. I'm getting ready to eat myself. Now, yeah. have y'all been here before? Oh, to this God. store? Uh, no. This is to the drugstore? Yeah, you've just been here before? Oh, here. This is our old stomping ground. Oh, is we it? We graduated in 65, and this was our old stomping ground. So you used to come back when you was in high school? Oh, yeah. yeah we okay. come here. Get a cherry Coke. Corner. <laughs> in the very back corner. <laughs> yeah, we get them a milkshake or a cherry Coke. Cherry Coke. Yeah. Come over here after school. So, okay. Wow. And Friday night after football. Well, so you got some good memories here then. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Make some more. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do, now, y'all still live here in Clinton area? Yeah, I live in Claxton. In Claxton, okay. Yeah, she lives in South Clinton. I live over in South Clinton, by the side where they're building the new park. Yeah. Out on Highway 25. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. I live out there. So I'm about two or three minutes away from here, depending on the traffic. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. So you, you remember it back when it probably kind of looked like this a little oh, bit yeah, more. Yeah. Yep, sure enough. Yeah. Hats and all. Right. <laughs> the good old days, I'm telling you. You're right. We were just in here a couple of Saturdays ago and met some old classmates. Well. So, and had lunch. Well, I'm going to get over and eat real quick, but I'm sitting up front. Yeah. Y'all make sure to talk to me before you just leave, okay? Okay, we will. All right. What are you going to have with your fish? Uh, coleslaw and okra. What are you drinking, honey? Sweet tea. I got you, baby. After you, Precious. Your turn. You want everything on it? Yeah. What's your fry seasoned or plain? Uh, seasoned. And what do you drink? I got you, Precious. Y'all just have a seat wherever you'd like. We'll bring it to you. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Cheeseburger. Fries ring and ring? Fries. Seasoned or plain, baby? Seasoned. What do you drink? Hey. Hey, how you doing? For you, Precious. 
Oh, so sunny, yeah. 20. <laughs> Gotta get your chips in. First time I've had one of y'all's almonds, and they were. They're good. Yes. Oh, I see it now. You say the omelet was good? The omelet was delicious. Everything's good here, honey. Had they have the best food. Oh, my goodness. All right. Every time we were in Clinton, we come down here. Yep. Had bell peppers and onions and tomatoes and sausage and cheese. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and I think I got lucky and I got the last piece of sausage. Because we got here late this morning and that was what was left. It, it seems like I've talked to y'all ladies before, have I? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I used to come down to your store. Okay. I thought uh, you were all... down to Charlie's Pizza and he could Yeah. Go okay. So, yeah. But, yeah. We, we wanted we to... Try to keep up with you. Yeah, we tried to. She's, she's got that kind of a phone. I don't have that kind of a phone. Yeah, Mama don't have that kind, I, I, so... I have a flip phone. Oh, okay. So, when there's nothing on TV, which usually is the most case, I usually watch what I have on my phone and watch the videos and watch things like you got. It's more entertaining. It's, I mean, she yeah. shows me all her stuff on her phone because yeah. I just got a flip phone. I'm the old school project. Yeah. <laughs> Well, good talking to you ladies yeah, again today. Good, good seeing you again, buddy. Thanks for coming out th today. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have any idea when this will be played? Uh, maybe next week. Next first week, of next sometime. week, yeah. Okay. okay. Be looking forward to it. Okay. We look forward to coming and seeing you guys all the time. We make an appointment somewhere down here in Clinton or Oak Ridge. We make a point to get here. We are so glad that you do. So, yeah. <laughs> and if it's after hours later in the evening, then we go up here to the Apple, what's it called? Apple Blossom. Yeah, we go there. That's yeah. like a second hand. That's right, our second choice. Though. Second yeah. choice. We come here first. Always. Okay. We're your first. Yes, ma'am. First choice. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, Miss Anita. Thank you. Okay, I have a good day. I am. I am turning 30. <laughs> <laughs> She got you on that question, didn't she? She did. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1070. I'm playing with the card. Okay. What's your name? My name is Eva. Eva? Did you get you something good to eat? I did. Have y'all been here before? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> y'all live close? We just live right down the road. Well, how about that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been here about 20 years, I guess. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> not one of the... Well, we, 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 we
Yeah, been eating here at Hoskins for 20 years? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> breakfast is the best, though. Oh, yeah, I like the breakfast. I like the breakfast. Yeah. Sometimes when I get off from work, I don't get here in time to get any lunch or anything before they close, so yeah. breakfast is probably the best. <laughs> yeah. You off work today? No, we're off today. Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. I got to see some of your videos at the R&M. R&M Brooks videos? Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. I've been up there uh, seen that place. That's really nice. Well, yeah. Yeah. And I seen the one you had on the fellow up there that done the pinstriping. Oh, yeah. The painting? Yeah. Yeah. Ricky? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came out today. Yeah. Yeah, I always, I always like to support the local business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially these like this. They're not many like this around, are they? Oh, that's right. That's right. They got the best shakes and uh, banana splits I heard you talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I said, if they make one, let me know. I want to film it. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your name? Uh, Ricky Spencer. R Ricky and <clears throat> Kathy? Kathy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming out today. All right. Everything. We're sitting here talking about we're talking guys. about you. Talking about me. They knew that you were going to be here. Yeah. So they yeah. I, saw it on, I saw it on Facebook. I said, Sue, we got to go. We got to go. And then she asked how you ended up getting, you know, in here. And I said, Well, my husband and I, we thought we'd just take a shot in the dark and email you. And you messaged us back. And we were like, Oh my gosh, she messaged you back. <laughs> <laughs> so they're laughing at me. <laughs> We well, wondered no, how you got here. And yes. then she said it was her. I said, well, good. Well, they remembered me when I sold T-shirts at the flea market. Yeah, so. they bought one. Yeah. Yeah, they, they used to come be some of my customers. And I guess you all started watching the videos I told we you about did. it at the yeah. flea market. Yeah. So yeah. I don't have to do that no more. No. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph Robertson is from Pal Valley. Yeah. And I was just up there Sunday. That's where my mother's from. Okay. Pal Valley, up on the ridge, right up from his old store. Yeah, how about that? Small world. But we yeah. were just talking about how we're going to take, me and my husband are going to take my, our kids to go to the Bushes yeah. Baked Beans place. And I was like, yeah, they have a restaurant. I didn't even know that they had a little cafe know. to eat. Well, did you? you have to watch yeah. the video. It's really good. Yeah, yeah really, 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 really good. good. I'll let you all finish your drinks, though. Oh, we're, <laughs> we're just talking. <laughs> y'all doing good? Sure, hey. Did you do a story on an old store on Sunken Creek? Yeah, Ruth Cox store. That was... That was my great grandpa that built that store. Oh yeah, yeah, and built well, the house that was next door. Yeah, my cousin Robin. Yes, it, yeah. She, I guess she uh, inherited it from her grandmother. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure how they came about it, but they sure fixed it up nice. Oh, the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks so good. I lived there when I was a little girl. Oh. That's where, when I was born, that's where my family, where my parents lived. Well, how about that? Yeah. Well, so, did you know it was going to be here today? No, but yeah. I did enjoy that video so much. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Well, uh, thanks for watching. We're making one here today about Hoskins, so it'll oh, be we'll on there. To watch this. Okay, what's your name? Tammy Asbury. Tammy? Okay, yeah. good meeting you, Tammy. Good to meet you, too. I come back to the house, yeah. back to the apartment, she goes, oh, I'm going back over there. I'm going to grab the line and move in. <laughs> he told me that he liked my boots, and I said that we, my husband bought me these boots because he didn't like my feet wet. <laughs> so now he's telling me about the time that he went to the World Fair, but this is Johnny. So Johnny comes in every day. Are you here every day? <laughs> yes. So he comes in every single day, and that's Freddie. Everybody knows who Freddie is, too. <laughs> Johnny wow. and Freddie. Johnny and Freddie. They're regulars, huh? Yes. How long have you been coming here? Almost 30 years. About 30 years. 100 years. <laughs> Since they opened, we take the plate, John. Boy, boy, boy. You want anything else? The doors open at 7.30. He's here at 7.15. 7.15. And Freddie's not far behind. <laughs> and they're wondering why you ain't got nothing cooked, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You guys eat here a lot? Every day. Every day. We're, all, we're yeah. the crew right here. How are Every you? one of us. Good. Yeah, we're the crew. We're yeah. the crew. We're the regulars. The Yep. Who's been coming the longest? Uh, it's yeah. This man right yeah. here. Me. Yeah. How long you been coming? Well, ever since I started working here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been what five years now? 
Yeah. Five years, yeah, I think, ain't it? Yeah. Ain't it married? It's been about five years, ain't well, it? Did you not come here in 1992? When I worked here the first time? Well, I might the first half in. of my life? Well, I might come in and get me a, uh, a chocolate shake or something every now and then. But I, not, not like now because yeah, I work now here. Now it's every day, multiple Yeah, it's every day. day, all of us. We're, <laughs> we're the whole crew here about okay. every day. The Liars Club. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. That's it. Do y'all work for the city? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cecil does. I do. You do. He does. Okay. So we're going to be making a video about Clinton downtown, uh, historic downtown Clinton, in a few weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I'm uh, with the Appalachian Channel on YouTube. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. We we'll make videos about places like this. Oh, really? Restaurants and old country stores and all that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's documenting great. them before they're all gone. You know. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how long you been doing this? Uh, not too long, about three years. Three years? Yeah. Yeah, you should have got started just a little bit early that way you could have caught the, the old timers. Yeah. Everybody working. Yeah. Right. Now that you got the new crew back there. <laughs> yeah, get the birds back. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're harassing you. And I'm trying to send you a message. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Good, good. We appreciate it. Well, do you get to look at that? Buddy? They're a mess. This is why we come up here all the time. We oh, nuts yeah. that work here. Yeah. You come here to get harassed? Yes. Yeah, it's best like, harassed in town. It's like they being just, at home. They give like you home. Have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't know what we're going to have every They day. harass just, us. I mean, it is, it is what it is, you know? They don't even ask you what you want. They're just bringing no, just you something. Just walk in. I'll take well, care of it, and we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I make videos about old country stores and places mm-hmm. like this. It's called the Appalachian Channel on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah? I'm going to have a card. Let me give you a card. Okay. You eat here quite a bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. How long have you been coming here? Oh, gosh. I worked in industrial development for 27 years. So, I guess 27 years. 27 years. <laughs> Do you eat here quite regular? And as a teenager, or as a younger girl, we used to come to the movies to the Ritz Theater. Oh, yeah, right next door, huh? And we, our dad would give us enough money that we'd come over here and get a ice cream. Yeah? I bet. So that's just as a little kid, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, how about that? You got some good memories, I bet, of coming uh, we here. We do, yeah. The um, girls here are just wonderful. Yeah? It is sweet. They like to cut up, don't they? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm seeing that this morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, gals back there and, and Dudley and Molly and all of them they're just really sweet yeah Joy coming yeah, what's here what's your name my name's John Ward I'm from La Follette you look familiar well you might have seen some of my videos if you ever watch YouTube or Facebook I do mm-hmm. yeah I do it full time oh gosh <laughs> bless you <laughs> now what was your name again Pam Rainey Pam Rainey mm-hmm. well good talk to you Pam nice talking to you so they used to be a beauty shop here yes and the room's still back there the room is still back there it's of course not fully set up like a beauty shop they use it now for hosting big parties of people that come and eat or people that are coming from the courthouse like big groups but they still have all the original light fixtures and a lot oh. of the a lot of the old signs that used to hang up in here, like the Coke signs and stuff like that. They keep them back there. Let's go look at it. Yeah, it's really cool. Let's go so. see it. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Thank you. I'm gonna turn them on for you. Thank you. Can you turn on this one too, Mary? <laughs> and there's actually still a one station back there. It's probably covered up with lights. Yeah. So did it still. originally start in 1947 as a beauty shop yes. that was built there for somebody in the family or to rent no, it out? No, just rented it out. Yeah. That was just what you did back then. I mean, it, I hate to say it, but almost what you see in a Walmart now. Yes. Or what Walmart when they opened. Oh, you know, they okay. had a beauty shop. They had all that. This was well before that. Oh. But he was, you know. Dad was ahead, was ahead of the time, wasn't yes. he? Yeah, it was the store, as the article say, it was the store of the future, and it literally was. It had everything in it. I mean, you could come get your hardware here, your school books here, 
everything. So, but yeah, I will, she'll show you back in there. We had to, once the beauty shop, we had a lady that ran it for years and years, and once she passed, we kind of went on because then you've got those smaller hair places that do things, and so we just, yeah, just kind of closed it up and needed to expand the pharmacy. Okay. So that's what we did. I'm going to show him the okay. old art pictures too. Yeah. So they serve a bunch of their bread back here, but they keep a lot of their old signs. And this one is actually back here is my favorite. <laughs> I told them that if they ever get rid of it, I want it. <laughs> I would totally buy it from. I think it's beautiful. So this is original piece. Yes, a lot of these are original pieces. But back here, this is where she used to be set up at. Um, but they use it now. This is actually, you see, this is the salon station. It's all covered up. I would have uncovered it, but. This is actually the salon station that they use, which is really neat. So I hate that it's all covered up. It's okay. I can make it. No, no, no. That, we're fine. We're good. We got. Yeah. Okay. We will not get the cookies up there in the corner. But yeah. So we have a menu. What's this menu back here? Just another menu back here. It was here? our um, fall festival menu. Yeah. One year, and we just leave it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, they do have a different menu when when like the city of Clinton is doing festivals and stuff like that. That way, people can get things you know all together with like hot dog and chips or hot dog and fries and stuff like that. But they also do it so that the menu's not so large that they yes. get swamped <laughs> because it is so busy in here. And then I just thought that you might want to see these pieces because yes, they're really beautiful. Absolutely, let me. These these actually used to hang up above the fountain so you'll see in some like original photos or like older photos um where they were up on the wall what, what was on the wall the, the okay oh yeah yeah all, of these. all these signs yes. yeah but some of them are starting to break and especially there's one up here that um molly was showing me once where it's starting to like get a hole down at the bottom so they just they try to keep them out of the way if they're starting to break but i just think that it's so neat that they have all this stuff still the back room, I guess. <laughs> it's called the beauty the, shop. The still, beauty shop. Can we get shop. that light on out there, you think? It's on. Okay. She, yeah, she just turned it off. That'd be cool. I just want to get me a shirt, dog, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I want to get oh. a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should get a shirt. Yeah. Yeah. It's 20 minutes for now. Hello, ladies. How are you? How are they for you? Oh, Sherry, got you. What about you, baby? You want everything on? Okra and mac and cheese. What are you drinking, honey? I got you. Alex, what about you, babe? Yeah. I had diet. I need a diet, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you out the spot. How do you do the fish? Okay. That's the right thing. Cheese, coleslaw, and mac. That's a shock. Is it Hey. Hello, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? Looks like you got something good to eat there. I hope so. I haven't tried it yet, but we're working on it. <laughs> uh, in La Follette, check it out. Now it's about 25 minutes, so it's not bad. Have a good day. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Bye-bye. What's that? You're putting us on camera. You want to be on camera? You want to be on YouTube? Yeah. You come here quite a bit? All the time, don't I? Yes, we're Eddie. We're both having Eddie, how long have you been coming here, Eddie? Almost nine years. Nine years. These girls fun to hang out with down here and eat lunch. They sure are. <laughs> are best place in town to come get something to eat, ain't it? Is this, is this the best place in town to come eat? Sure is. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> Wave. You're gonna be shy. <laughs> so this is Evelyn. She is four. And what is your favorite thing to get at the drugstore at Mommy's Work? 
Can you say what you're... You don't know? Mm -hmm. uh, vanilla milkshakes are her favorite. And then this is Tyson. How old are you, Tyson? Uh, not six. Six? And what's your favorite thing to get at the drip store? A white shake. A white shake? <laughs> I guess. What else, what else do you like to eat when you're here? What's your favorite thing to eat? Chicken strips and fries. Chicken strips and fries. And then this is my husband, Zach. We, we actually have been together since 2011 when I originally first started working here. <laughs> so he's been in here a whole lot too. <laughs> you didn't have to meet here, did you? No, we actually did not meet here. We met in high school, but okay. he would come here. He would come here often when I had to work until six, and he would always get a milkshake and fries. <laughs> yeah. And wait until I got off work so we could we could go on a date. You still not going to tell him what your favorite is? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, this is John. Can you say hi? Can you say hello? Well, since Sissy is not talking, who usually gives you your milkshake? What's her name? You know what her name is? Who usually gives you the milkshake? I don't know. Miss Mary? She calls herself Mama Mary. Here's your vanilla shake. Here's your milkshake. That's actually my sister. Your white shake. <laughs> I have another Say hug. Hi. Yes. I have another hug. Now, what's your name? Lauren. Lauren? Yes. How long have you worked here, Lauren? Um, You've been you've been in and out. Yeah. So in and out, back and forth. Okay. Since like high school. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> so how far? I'm 24 now. So I've been going like back and forth since high school. So I just come back to. Um, yeah. Well. Just come back. Just come back. We all back come back. <laughs> we, all, we all come back. <laughs> all right, y'all want some food? Yeah. All right, I can go order you yeah. some food. You want to go tell them what you want? Lauren's already got it. Oh, Lauren already got it. Yep. Good deal. Okay. We have a farm and he processed all of his um, foods and his meats were all processed on the farm. We had a meat house, we had full um, we had cattle and hogs. And those were all slaughtered and killed and processed at the meat house in Dutch Valley and brought here for to into all the stores. There were more than just the Main Street store, but all of his his businesses that had and they all had soda fountains. So pig in a blanket would have been the pork with a lot of rendering, a lot of fat in it. But when you heat it up, it tastes really good. And it's been on a bun. So how long did y'all run run the farm? We still have the farm. We don't uh, run the meat house any longer. But right. we ran the meat house probably till the 70s. From the 70s. Yeah, the 70s. Maybe, maybe, no, later than that, actually. I'm trying to think if it was after I graduated from high school. Probably late 70s. Late 70s, early 80s, so we had um, the meat house. The meat, yes. So yes. there were how many total stores back originally? I heard there. that was... Quite a few more. Thirteen, 13. together. And they all had soda fountains. And they all had soda fountains. So yeah. that was his reason to do the farm. Yes. Did he start that just to provide food for the mm -hmm. farm? It was. Yes, he had soda fountains, and he produced for for all of them a variety, a portion of their menu with blue plate specials or a sandwich special. Um, we did not. We raised chickens on the farm, but we didn't use those in the store. He bought those in large quantity and they were brought in here weekly. They made chicken salad in tubs this big. Wow. Yeah, that big. <laughs> yeah, they made chicken salad that big. So we're looking at some of the menus here from back then. That's what brought yes. that up. And we got some of the, this is maybe from the 40s or 50s probably. Yes. Well, he opened here in 47 at yes. this location, yes. but he had, the one location down on Main, I call it Main Street? Market, Market Street. Market Street, Market okay. Street. We started there in 1930, then, 1930. then this was the second location? This was the number two store. Number so two, in 1947. 1947. Mm -hmm. And then how did, he, how did he keep expanding like that? It looks like it seemed like he had had some good employees at the time. 
He did, and people were looking for work, and he employed from all over the area. So we had so much growth going on in Oak Ridge during the Manhattan Project that that was the reason for opening three stores in Oak Ridge in oh. the same year. All in the same year. Oh, three different locations. Really about the time this one opened. Right after, right, right about this time. Wow. Right before. So, because when that, when they started building Oak Ridge uh, to support... Uh, the atomic bomb. Then he had in one location in Oak Ridge, he had sixty employees in one store. How many? Sixty. Sixty. Sixty employees. My goodness. I know. That's. But there was that much traffic. There were that many people that came through, and they pretty much kept long, long hours. This store used to stay open until eleven. Wow. P.M. Eleven p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we don't yeah. do that. <laughs> so, do we see different menu items because that's what we we're talking about the pig and the blanket. So, that's something that he raised there. Yes. And, you uh, had to heat it to make it good now. You had to put it on the grill because it had a lot of fat in it, and it had really good seasoning to it. And it was just, it was just the scraps of your, your pork. Yep. That was it. Okay. This is Caitlin Hatmaker, and Caitlin has been with us since high school. Often. To, yeah. Off and on, um, she's gone to college, she's have gotten married, had a family, um, but has come back and worked for us now as a digital designer. So she does a lot of our social media, um, she keeps us organized, um, she just does all kinds of things for us that we don't have time to do, and so we're very appreciative. And then to always have somebody come back, um, her sister's back working with us now, she works, she's worked with us since high school, um, you know, we always invite our students to come back and come back when they're out from college or whenever so we really appreciate and appreciate her new career and her um what she can do for us yeah and i've only been back for a year now so it's been really fun getting to do something different yes than just running the register yes you know, front. <laughs> like yeah i tell you my peeps grow up and we love it like i said they're calling my peeps when they're here in <laughs> school so they, my peeps grow up and come back and they show us what they've learned and and help us that has the different menu items on it. It was up here at Christmas. Chili. Yes, and it had. Say bye. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, just found it. Huh. It doesn't have hamburgers on it, but it's just an old sign that they used to use. Turkey dinner, special today. Look, How about that? Fresh That's oysters. With French fried potatoes. I guess the menu changed a little bit over the years. Yes, it's changed a lot. Uh, <laughs> we can, we still so, do chili, turkey dinner, and vegetable soup. Yes. 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 Not for twenty cents, but we do chili. <laughs> Get the crackers for 20 cents. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay. So, um, growing up in a family um, of girls, we are a family of girls. Uh, mother and daddy had four girls, four, four daughters. Our dad always thought he needed a boy to run the farm, to run the business, to continue baling hay and garden and manage all the cattle that it had to be a boy. And it had to be a boy to run the, the drug stores. Well, he tried and tried, so ended up with four girls. And um, he, we would have loved to have given him a grandson, Molly and I would have, but that was not in the cards either. So we have girls, Molly has girls, and I have granddaughters. <laughs> So and we've finally gotten some boys. I have some grand boys that are just less than a year old. So finally we're getting some boys back in the family. Yes. But it has been all girls. Um, our, I will say our two, our two other sisters uh, did have one boy each. So yes. there are a couple of boys in the family, but not many. So, That's right. And that, that would be, those would be grandchildren of, of our parents. But it takes girls to run the business. We figured out it had to be the girls because that's the, we've involved all girls and um, granddaughters that have can come back and have worked in the business. And there's no pressure for them to do that, but I think they see a love of it and they see a commitment to the community. And that's kind of, 
I can truly say this, and I've said this before, that I don't think Clinton would be the same if there was not a Hoskins drugstore. I think that's a claim that we can stick to, and and we we're so glad that we can be a part of this wonderful community and, and give back because it, it is a commitment to give back over and over again. And Molly awesome. takes care of lots of generations of, of families. In and the pharmacy, um, we see many generations come back and they come back because maybe their grandparents came here um, or they came here as a child um, with their grandparents and they want to come back um, to just kind of a hometown pharmacy where they get special care. Have you been eating here? Yes. This is the first time I ever hear. First time ever here? Mm-hmm. She has ate here before. Oh, okay. So, yeah, where y'all from? Knoxville. Knoxville? Uh-huh. So what brought you up here today? I've lived We're in Clinton around. before. Just around. around and I've been wanting to bring him because I knew of this place. So I was anxious to bring him here and let him check it out. No, why was you anxious to bring him here? It's old school. Old school. And we're like, old school. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> so what do you think? What, did it live up to what she was talking about to you? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I like places like this. It's reminded me of those teenage days, you know. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. We used to have a place we went to all the time in Strawberry Plains called Cardins. Oh, yeah. And they yeah. tore it down. Yeah. So this is like a Cardins to us, but it's inside. Wow. Because it's you just go up there. And it's, uh, it's right off the road. You just sit outside. You know they had the fences outside. Yeah. And yeah. Of course, cars passing by and stuff. And it's just, uh, it was just a good feeling. It's family. Family. Well, good talking to you guys. It's Thank good talking to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. John. He wants to speak to you. Who's? You video me? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna be on the video? Yeah. You gonna be on YouTube? Mm-hmm. What's your name? Grayson. Grayson? Mm-hmm. Do you eat here much? Uh-huh. Yep. Have you been here before? Yeah. Yeah? I've been, it... I've been here when I was in my mommy's belly. <laughs> Is this your mom? Yep. Yeah? Yeah? What do you like eating here? What's your favorite thing to get? A uh, monster ice cream. A monster ice cream? Mm-hmm. That sounds, that sounds good. Do you eat anything besides ice cream here? Yeah. What else you eat? Like chicken and um, fries with ketchup. <laughs> okay. You've been coming here ever since you was in your mommy's belly, huh? So she's been eating for you before you was even born, hasn't she? Mm-hmm. So you we did... come here about seven times a week. <laughs> seven back. times a week? <laughs> well, thanks for talking to me. Be me on I am, Grammy. My Grammy. Oh, so you're related to Mary then. That's your, that's I your come, Grammy? I come here to see my Grammy and Nanny. <laughs> Nanny's in the kitchen. Will you put me on YouTube? I will. You'll be on there. Uh, Today, so it's crowded. The ice cream section's crowded.
Bay says we might be bringing in product. But John, I want you to meet Donna. Donna has Hi, worked dear. for us for three years, and we are just so lucky to have her. She is hands-on, whether it be on the fountain, whether it be the phones, the register, but mainly in medical equipment and customer service. So, thrilled to have her. So, y'all have another location right next yes, door here? Yes, Donna will take you in. Okay. Okay, walking through here. Lift chairs, wheelchairs, stoolies, electric wheelchairs, lifts, beds, extra equipment, supplies, just about anything. It's we have. Yes. So the equipment we have in here, John, is to help you care for someone at home. So if you're taking care of a loved one and you need equipment, um, then this would, would help you manage them and care for them. So that's kind of what we do. We do insurance. We also do uh, out-of-pocket pay. And we customize it to fit the patient. John, thanks for coming. We appreciate you so much. Thank you. See y'all next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.